Greetings and salutations. This is the table for the rear guard mission for Team Yankee. This is for the Stripes campaign. Uh, this attack is by the Americans in the Leipzig sector. And we have a T-72 battalion that is defending here. Got a company dug in the woods protecting the objective there, the uh, jerry cans of gasoline. And over here, we have got a T-72 company uh, dug in, backed up by some Carnation Instant Breakfasts. Okay. There are a couple of minefields as well. Just letting you guys know. On the American side, you know, we're talking about like 55-point lists here. So I've got two platoons of M1s. Uh, this is the company... Command here. I've got two Cobras. I've got two M1s here. And on the left hand side, I have. I've got two more M1s. So as we're looking through on the. doing a flyby over the field. So it is the end of American Turn 1 of this Team Yankee game, and they're already seeing flames uh, here, whereas this pl platoon set fire to this guy and this guy here. These guys moved up together in unison and torched the BMP-1 observer. Our helicopters went, opened up on the tank company and the trees blew up one bailed out another so this is not looking good for the Russians we'll see what Russian turn one brings so for the Russian half of turn one the ambush guys set themselves up the remaining T-72 tank company, and they opened up on the American platoon there, knocking out one Abrams, and the other Abrams was bailed out. That was the platoon commander. Too bad he did not read failed morale, and thus one American armored platoon is gone. Scratch that. This is still anybody's game, ladies and gentlemen. What will the Americans think of next? Okay, with American turn two, we got to see some movement and some action. Helicopters moved up. And they sprayed the woods there with some Vulcan fire. Uh, they caused some hits. Nobody was eliminated. We had four tanks over here. Uh, guess what? They split up. So one platoon went over to start pelting uh, the T-72s here. Knocked out this one and our company command came over fired on these guys here taking out two more and bailing out the third so yeah they did pass the morale check we'll see if they remount on to soviet turn three welcome back one thing I have to give it for Team Yankee, modern warfare is so much quicker and bloodier than World War II. So, what happened? The Bump 2 decided to move up, shoot at the helicopter, and failed. This other Bump moved up, shot at the helicopter, knocked it out. These T-72s decided to risk the cross check go into the woods and shoot at the M1s that were there on a side shot knocked out the platoon commander and the other tank blew its morale and was gone so and the self propelled artillery guys bombarded and with no effect so they did hit the American tank, but with no effect. All right, guys, the end may be sooner than you think, because the Americans still have one good unit left. Let's see what happens. So we are at the end of U.S. Turn 3. Things did not go great for the Americans. 
the HQ section moved out. The HQ section moved out to here. They destroyed one BMP, tried to fire, the other one tried to fire on the infantry to no effect. The helicopter fired a salvo on this infantry unit. They hit, but no damage. And the helicopter being the last unit of its, the last helicopter of its unit rolled and failed morale and it left. So all that we are left with are the HQ tanks. And at that point, I think we're going to call it quits here. So victory goes for the Russians. Uh, the U.S. lost two platoon, two tank platoons, one helicopter uh, group, and the Russians lost one tank platoon. That's it. Stay tuned for more exciting action.